my god! Stardew Valley multiplayer is out on beta! Okay, so, um, uh, question you might have, question I had. Uh, first of all, there's gonna be a link to the stardewvalley.net slash blog article that I'm getting this from, but I'm gonna visually show you guys how to enable it. I uh, opt into the beta, beta, beta? Opt into the beta and enable it so you can have your friends join you for Stardew Valley. First of all, it is a beta, which means that their uh, variable could be bugs. I'm just important for you guys to know. This is how you opt into the beta. Uh, in Steam, you have to right click the game in your library, go to properties, and on the window that pops up, there's gonna be a beta tab, all right there. You gotta click it, and you gotta type in the password for the branch for the beta, which is Jumping Junimos, uh, J-U-M-P-I-N-G-G-J, not G, J, U-N-I-M-O-S. Uh, okay, so I'll have it written down in the uh, in the description for you as well. That is the pass that you'll need. Then you need to hit check code. Once that is there, it'll give you the option to opt into the beta. And once you've done that, Steam will start downloading the update. You might, if you have to, you might have to force update it by uh, checking integrity. Uh, but make sure you put in the password correctly and all that stuff. Uh, do be aware, again, that it is uh, it is a beta, so it, it could be buggy. Do back up your save files before playing it, um, because otherwise you could potentially use lose it. And uh, they suggest that you don't have any mods installed for anything that's not been updated for 1.3 yet, um, which it'll take, I'm sure, mods a little while to catch up. Now, you can use existing save files, so um, make sure, again, that you back them up first before you use them, because otherwise you could break it as a beta. Um, but if you want to do that, if you want to use one of your old save files and you want to host a farm, you need to uh, build cabins for them in your current game. They're really cheap to build. At least right now, they are 100 gold and 10 stone. You can do that almost immediately. Um, But you can also just start a new game uh, with the with the homes already built in there as well, which you can do by going to the title screen, open co-op menu, and select host, and then host new farm. And you can set up the layout and uh, move everything from there that you might have to do. It'll be beautiful and wonderful, I'm sure of it. Uh, there's new options as well, including uh, friends only, accept IP connections, enable new character creation, etc. Inviting friends, invite codes, all that fun stuff uh, that I'm showing you right now. There are some options as well. How do you invite people? A uh, few ways. few ways. One is the co-op menu. Um, so if you're using your, your Steam, which you have to use, of course, um, you, all your Steam friends will be able to see and join the farm through the co -op, their co-op menu. Uh, if it's set to friends only, you can do invite codes as well for this. You can just invite them with, with uh, directly from their profiles on, their, on your friends list, your Steam friends list. Um, again, invite codes, another one. And then um, you can also use LAN as well using your IP address, which is probably more complicated than you're going to need to do. I suppose that if you had to do this, if the other uh, versions, if the invite codes just don't work, how you get your LAN is you have to find your, um, launch the game, host your farm through co-op. When it's loaded, you have to have your computer's IP address. I'm not gonna show you mine, of course. That would not be smart. And, um, and then make sure that um, they go through, and once you have your IP address, you have to give them to, their, to your friends. Your friends, have to, your friends have to open the co-op menu, click join land game, and type in the IP address there. Uh, you don't have to be signed in for Steam for this, but uh, you shouldn't really have to use this, but that is another way of using it. If you have problems, I suggest going to the blog that'll be posted in the description below. Um, you can build up three cabins right now. You can marry another player with the wedding ring. Um, the game can be paused, uh, but in the single player, but in the multiplayer, it doesn't pause when the menu is open. You have to pause it for break. Uh, you can use the pause command, slash pause command in chat box. So you can pause, but it has to be slash pause. Um, for sleeping, all players have to be in their bed and answer yes to a dialogue that pops up. Um, starting the, the, a festival is similar, you have to be in the location before it begins, otherwise it won't begin. So there is new uh, single player content for the beta, 
and uh, we don't know when the update is hitting stable default branch boom i hope you're excited i hope that if you were unsure or unable to find out how to get into multiplayer that this helps you out uh there will be a multiplayer playthrough on the channel i'm not sure quite who's going to be in it yet uh mainly people from the, our community member active members of our community we're going to give you the best content we can. Much love to you. See you guys out there in the valley. I'm so excited. My phone's blowing up. Everyone's excited. Peace out.